What's good, everybody? I'm Mr. Peters. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to multiply square roots. And the first very important tip I'm going to tell you guys is that for us to multiply square roots, they have to have the same index slash root. And what that means is if you look where this three is, that's the root, right? So what they're saying is three is a cube root. And radical 2, that's a square root, right? So because they're different roots, guys, we cannot multiply them. There's nothing that we could do with this problem. But if we had a different problem where they said, hey, we want you all to multiply the square root of 8 times 3 radical 2. This is what we're going to do, guys. So... There's no coefficient. There's no number in front of 8. We're going to treat it similar to a variable and assume that it's just 1 on the outside, right? So we're going to multiply 1 times 3 to get 3, and then we're going to go back and multiply our radicals together. And when we multiply our radicals together, we're going to get 5 radical 6, and we're going to multiply this by radical 27. So just like the first problem, if you've noticed, there is no number in front of radical 27. So because I'm visual, I'm just going to put a 1 there, okay? And I notice that when I multiply 5 and 1, I'm going to get 5. And when I multiply my two radicals, I'm going to get radical 162. And let's just make sure that's correct real quick. 27 times 6, 162. All right. So guys, we went, they had the same index, we multiplied the correct terms with the correct terms, right? Coefficients with coefficients, constants with constants. Now we need to focus on breaking down this radical. And luckily for me, I'm good with, I'm good with these square roots. So I know that the largest perfect square that goes into 162 is 81. 81 times 2. So radical 81 times radical 2 gives us that radical 162. Now that we broke it down and we found those factors, we need to focus on trying to see if we can simplify anymore. So radical 2, guys, we can't break it down anymore. I'm just going to draw an arrow so we know we're going to bring it down. But 81, we could definitely break down. That's a perfect square. So when we break this down, we have 5 times 9, right, because that's the square root, times radical 2. So our final answer in this problem would be 45 radical 2. So don't forget, guys, there's three very helpful tips on this uh, process. Same root, check that they had the same root, multiply coefficients with coefficients, and then divide using perfect squares. In our last problem, we're going to have one where both our radicals are going to have a coefficient. And we'll have 7 radical 8, and we're going to multiply that by 2 radical 6. So I'm going to play around with this one a little bit. I'm not going to highlight everything. I'm going to see if you guys can follow along with me. So when we go through this, we're going to get 14 radical 48. And I got y'all. So just explain, right? We got 7 times 2. That gives us 14. And then once we multiply our two radicals, we will get radical 48. Same index, right? That's rule number one. Rule number two, multiply coefficients with coefficients. And in our last rule, right, we're trying to see, can we break down radical 48? And we definitely can. So when I look at this, I know that the largest perfect square that goes into 48, let's see if we could break this down, should be 16 times 3. And let's double check that real quick. So 16 times 3 is 48, right? We're going to bring down 14 on the outside. And you guys know, next step is for us to do what? Is to look at our, look at our radicals. And see if we could find any of them that are perfect squares or any of them that can be break, broken down using perfect squares. So when I look at radical 3, 
There's nothing that we could use to break that down. It, it probably will stay the same. But I can do something with 16. So when I go for 16, right, 14 stays the same. 16 is going to change into 4, right, because that's a square root. And we're going to multiply this by radical 3. We still have to bring that radical 3 down. And my final answer would be 56 radical 3. So when we're multiplying square roots, guys, don't forget. Three very helpful tips. We have to make sure that the root and the index for the radicals are the same. Once they're the same, we definitely can multiply. We multiply radicals with radicals, coefficients with coefficients. right? And then after we do that, that answer, that product that we get, we're going to see if we can break it down after. If you found this video helpful, we're going to ask that you guys smash the like button for us, subscribe to our channel, leave any comments for future videos or tutorials you guys would like to see. And I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for joining us today on Algebra with Mr. Peters on Multiplying Square Roots. Thank you.